We use infrared reflectography. This is quite a long established technique to try and see just slightly below the paint surface. It can help reveal the interesting preparation stages that an artist might make on the surface that you can't normally see with the naked eye. Today I'm looking at a very nice painting by an artist in the school of Filipino Lippi from the early 16th century. One of the most interesting features is when we look at the face of Madonna and the Christ child figure particularly. Underneath that there is a, a drawing in, in probably a likely carbon medium. Some of it is drawn, some of it is in a liquid medium and painted with a brush. Now this is very interesting because it shows that the artist has more or less laid out the design as we see it in, in the paint, but there are some quite interesting changes and alterations. It's very freely drawn and there are some areas where the, the edges of the details of the figure are quite sketchy, but we can also see in the Christ child's face that there are some very beautiful deft shadow markings made around his mouth and his nose that are extremely fine and very, very beautiful in their own right. But of course, the artist would never have intended these to be seen. They were always meant to be hidden under the paint. This was a very formal system of painting where you laid out the design first and then completed it with a layer of paint above. But it's interesting to see this because you do pick up quite a few changes sometimes in what the artist originally drew and then what they painted. And there are two examples of that. On the Virgin's robe, there's an underdrawing of a very different series of folds in, in the cloth, which were not reproduced in the paint at all. And there's also, a Christ child is holding what looks like it might be a pomegranate or something like this, that the drawing seems to show that there's actually a sort of sprouting uh, bit of leaf on top of this, whereas actually that's never been reproduced in the paint. Hirox microscope is a very sophisticated digital microscope that has very high quality lenses, but it also has a very high quality digital camera and lighting system so that we can get much clearer and sharper and higher magnification images than we were able to previously. It can show you surface details that are not normally visible to the naked eye. We can investigate technique and materials, and we can also measure these things as well because the digital software behind the microscope enables you to measure things on the image. We can also provide 3D mapping of the surface because the microscope itself, it doesn't just take one image at one level of focus, it can take a multitude of level images and then merge these together so that they're all in sharp focus. And equally, you can measure the depth of things on the surface of objects as well, which is a very exciting possibility. It really helps with conservation because it's an additional tool to, to examine a surface and to decide what a treatment might what treatment might be necessary or what a problem is with the surface. You might be able to identify surface features of restoration, for instance, or even prove that restoration is present. And that can be absolutely crucial in terms of deciding whether to carry out any conservation treatment. Today, we're looking at a painting by the Netherlandish artist Jus van Kleve from the early 16th century. And this is extremely interesting to us in terms of technique because it's a very high quality Netherlandish painting on oak panel with an oil medium. And we picked up lots and lots of fine detail that you can see with the naked eye, but being able to examine that in much greater detail is, is extremely exciting. One of the most interesting features about many uh, Netherlandish and early Italian paintings is that they often have the central figures in the middle, the main interest, and then in the background you often get incredibly detailed scenes such as people moving around small buildings or as in this case someone on horseback which has been painted in very very fine detail but it's incredibly small and quite difficult to see but the closer you, closer in you go you realize the skill the artist had to depict this